Welcome back to Drive With Me. Today's edition 61. 8.23. My time. Barely any traffic. At least not at least for us Estonians. Nice 83. Gosh, I can't wait for this cool weather to come back. Anyway, early, early like I usually am. It's around the time frame I like to go. I'm watching for the bump right here that knocks my phone off. I think I'm good now. Biggest change. I got my plate in the front. It's been bugging me since I got this damn car. Being in Texas, one of the requirements is you have to have your front plate in the front. And unfortunately for my dealership, they wouldn't, they, they refuse to fight back against that. Or my, uh, my guy didn't tell him that I didn't want the front plate drilled in. But um, yeah, I took that bad boy off. It wasn't as simple as just screwing the, the front off like I hoped it was. They are installed by these rubber grommets that expand inside. So once you're trying to take it off, they, they just first spin. For whatever, for whatever reason, I don't know why. I wish I wish I knew the reason behind that. But that was a pain in the, pain in the butt. Sorry, I'm messing with my light, interior light. And, um, pain the butt because I had to take the bumper off, which for me is, was, um, like, I didn't understand how easy it was until I did it. Because everybody was like, oh, just take the bumper off. Being a non, a car noob guy, don't just, you know, get into cars or into tinkering with them. You know, to me, that's like, dude, I think a bumper off, like, huge, you know, at least for me. That's coming from somebody that doesn't really mess with that. Like, if you would have told me, you know, being IT, computers, like, oh, you got to take it apart, do this, and this, and this. For me, I'm like, boom. Whereas somebody else, is, they're, probably, they're probably freaking out. I, I know how they feel. <laughs> but, like, one of my buddies says, you know, you just got to do it. You know, just got to learn, right? It's not, like, it's not difficult enough where you can mess something up. I mean, you, I mean, you can if you're not careful. But I think that goes with anything. But really, was like three steps or three prerequisites: side marker clips, top clips from this top top bar, and the clips at the bottom, and then it snaps off. Put uh, the first time taking it off was a little scary because you know the, the clips are fresh so you, have to, so you do have to put some pressure but as long as you grab it the right way sorry I just the year 50 you should be at 60 at this point anyway um, as long as you grab it the right way you, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine So for anyone that is in the same dilemma, you know, because you well, because you could also just buy a front grill, but you still have to take the bumper off, right? So um, it doesn't really matter.
other than that, you know, chill weekend. My girlfriend's in New Orleans, so just been at home playing the new uh, new port of God of War, which is really fun. And then um, I've been binge watching Shogun, which was insane. Why is my do not disturb on? Which is insane, you know. Definitely, I understand why I won so many, so many M- Emmys. Oh, thank God! I thought, I thought I killed that squirrel, Jesus. Um, so many en- em- Emmys, right? And uh, I also watched Speak No Evil, the <clears throat> the remake. James McCoy um Mecca what how do we say his last name it's phenomenal it's like he he was phenomenal who was so was okay I mean it was good it was good um but he was like he you know he, he kills every role he's in and I read online that he purposely didn't watch the remake until after the movie, so it didn't affect his, um, I guess his his direction. I I can see it. I can definitely see it. For those who've seen the original, the original, I hated it. Not that it was objectively a bad film. It was really well shot. It had all the cringe. I had the horror, and I think, and that's what that's what pissed me off. Like it was, it was too good. It was, it's a very sadistic movie, and it's only one, I, only one I recommend. Like if you're into into true horror, definitely right, watch it. But it's not one I could be like, oh yeah, go ahead and watch it. You know, go ahead and ruin your you ruin your night. It really is that bad. And he goes, my, my boy pulling up at the same time. He's been, he's been on the same taco grind. Oh, he better not take my spot. Oh, is he park? Oh, he's gonna be parking parking that spot. Is he trolling me? But um, where is he parking at? Did he overshoot it? But anyway, yeah, I took the front bu- front bumper off. Take out the front plate. It looks, it looks, uh, oh my, it looks so much better. I don't have the buck tooth anymore. Yeah, he parked way, way further than used to. He's like, oh, this doesn't look familiar. <laughs> Anyway, let's get this picture out. The hunger is kicking in. Is that a chopper? Alright, you guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Peace.